And we are back to the last episode of Alan Wake Remastered. Left off. How are you folks doing? We're in Dr. Hartman's clinic. Can't go out that way. However, I can go into this other room. There's like a board game of this place. I need to this follow Dr. Hartman. Most of them are here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. Oh, you sure you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. I don't know why you need an elevator, but apparently you need an elevator, so when you have stairs. Anderson, the Anderson brothers? Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about Sure, life. whatever you say. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot. But what if so they are? He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. No, Does it's make still going to continue. The insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. No, people died. The supernatural's coming for me, and you're going to die next. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane, in memory of a dear friend and poet. We go into the ledge. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I right could see Mira Peak on the other the side lake, of the yeah. lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, yep. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. There probably wouldn't well, be, considering it's the paranormal. This way. Follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this sure. is a relief to you. I'm the crazy doesn't. one. Why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. 
It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly everything. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my now. hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. It's that guy. I was going to say, what's with the oh, creepy laughing? The entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. Man versus nature. It's wonderful. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. There's the thermos. Something said ream, read, not ream. That's for sure. Please, Emerson, Mr. Wake is the creator's dilemma. Engaging new, yeah, the engaging like new book so by Dr. Emil Hartman, the author of the best-seller Creative Flow: is Groundbreaking Techniques, Engagement okay. Therapy. Okay. The flow sorry, explained sorry. in his own words. Now available in bookstores across the country. Did you? Okay. Uh -huh. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. It's me. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. And that's how they'll break through. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule bitches beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes, blah, blah, blah. Be patient. Typically, our patients, haha, wordplay, have long term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them, blah, blah, blah. is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Night Springs, the board and game. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy's a requirement, Sonny. Who else 
could understand the world when it's like this. It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we need to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head. Ooh, okay. I'll it was clearing up. Let him finish. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom! Zane could feel the poems form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. See, wait, so Dr. Harmon was his assistant? Any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his own. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all. Take all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. Power again. He's checking on it now. Yeah. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, the doors the were locked. I Hartman and the nurses would later have on, keys. But, the but there was no way to you know, get my hands on them. You know how they get. Gotcha. Doc's got you looking after Wade. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard okay. to think. Okay. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. I don't think you're getting out of that TV. Me to get the story <laughs> once, and the story will come true. There's another QR code. There's another thermos. you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Hartman had mentioned oh, that the, the power generator? Had up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. I'll take anything at this point. Ha, ha, nah, ha, ha, ha. 
Barry in the lodge? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Great. It's my store. I'm taking it. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit the her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, time. she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's on, office. He had taken all my crash. manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Is it this door? The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Fucking prick. Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. Yup. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. No, of course not, because Hartman is the mastermind. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Jesus Christ! Mr. Scratch? No. Is it? Try, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, doctor. Because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Well, you didn't, because I got your what fucking you keys. Saying, made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Do you hear me? I'm going to sue your crazy quack ass to shreds. Seriously, do you have any... It is Barry. I am famous. Barry? I... Ow, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, I mean, sure. and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman that 
son of a bitch who tells me you're here and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner, the piss-off room. Oh, okay, I thought it would have kept talking. I didn't know it was going to do a cutscene. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Parker, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go! Wake, listen to me. Give me all my machine. shit back, Hartman. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Oh, he just got fucking body jacked, didn't he? Hartman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. That fucking bastard. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh shit, hurry up, 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 hurry up. Generator. Two, three, nope. One, two, three. Damn, that's spreading really fucking fast. I'd like to know where all my guns are. What I gotta do, I gotta hold it, hold it, hold it. Herman's mission. No creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. That bastard. Night Springs?
I did not want to do that. <laughs> Because that's definitely going to bite me in the ass in a few minutes. The music's kind of blocking out the sound, but you know. And then the story repeats itself. Night Springs. Magic. Polar tricks. Smoke and mirrors. But for some, magic is more than that. Did it? It's a way of working with Did it restart? Reality itself. And more than one member of that Eldritch Brotherhood can be found in Night Springs. Tonight's episode What's in a Name? Or is there two of them? This is a different one. Okay, there's two. Power, just like objects Tell of power. Him, Tell him when I finish the carving. Officer, it's it's Say my name, boy. Say it. It's Night Springs, officer. But isn't that that's the name of the town, isn't it? Yes, it is from now on. Wait, wait where'd he go? Hey, where is he? Oh, officer. You know where he is and what he is, don't you? I think you should get in your car and drive away. And remember which town you're serving. Your will be done, Agis. Ah, yes. There are too many little towns to count, all of them with some little magic of their own. But 
Some towns have more personality than others, and none more so than Night Springs. Okay, is that it? Okay, yeah, there doesn't seem to be another one. So, since I am currently safe, and I'm not really safe, but there's darkness around me. But I'm as safe as I'm going to get. So I'm going to end this episode here as usual. We're going to have time for this episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.